Christmas memories. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Welcome to my channel. I'm Corinne, uh, 30 something, living alone in Australia with my dog. <laughs> so I've just put out all of my little Christmas bits and pieces. I've been collecting these over the years. I've lived in this house for four years now. Um, and each year I've just picked up little bits and pieces. Some of the stuff in here is actually Easter. It's not all Christmas. But look, I want to be completely honest. The plan was to do one of those aesthetic, girly, decorate with me, Christmas haul, let's go shopping, deck the halls kind of videos. Basically, I really, really, really wanted to deck out this bar cart area. I... I love watching people on YouTube, Pinterest, all over the place that do like full out seasonal decorating. Um, seasonal decorating is not such a big thing in Australia, at least with anyone I know, probably because we just don't have the extreme seasons where I live. But what I would love to do is just have this bar cart area be like a seasonally decorated part of my house. So what I was going to do in this video is go shopping and buy some stuff for my vision. This is the only thing I have bought from the reject shop, this tiny little cheap pink tree. Uh, I bought this a couple of weeks ago when I was actually shopping for Halloween things. Anyway, that was the plan. That's not what this video will be. I just don't have the money this year to do much Christmas shopping. <laughs> And that's, you know, that's just keeping it real. That's where I'm at right now. Um, I was not expecting for my dog to go in for a almost one and a half thousand dollar surgery earlier this week. Like that was not in my vision or my plans. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it just is what it is, honestly. So I'm also probably not going to have a Christmas tree this year. I, for the last... Four years that I've lived here I had a really really cheap white tree which I loved um, all of the ornaments and stuff I've collected over the last 10 years actually I must have had my tree for more than four years I must have had my tree for a while I had it in Canberra with me yeah probably have that tree for like six years which makes sense and explains why it was completely discolored so it was a white tree and obviously I had sat it somewhere where it was getting sun and it had gone brown it was gross it was yeah it was just disgusting it had gone brittle it wasn't it wasn't nice so that got thrown out earlier in the year so I don't have a Christmas tree I was thinking of buying a new one but I'm not I'm not it's just not a priority um, not with having just outlaid so much money unexpectedly and I'm currently only working part-time um, so yeah, this is, <laughs> this is my, my honest, real, cheap <laughs> Christmas decorating video. So I'm still going to decorate. I'm going to use what I've got. Um, I'm not saying I won't buy anything. You know, you can pick like cute little bits and pieces up from the redox. You can pick cute little bits and pieces up from like Kmart, the reject shop, stuff like that. Um, for a really good price so I may buy some more things just for like the bar cart area. Christmas decorations are not that important in the grand scheme of things and the internet, social media, YouTube, you know, can kind of really portray this vision of keeping up with the Joneses and everyone's decorating and everyone's got this and everyone's got that and you know, Mason and I are happy and healthy, we've got a roof over our heads, that's the actual important stuff for us. If we don't have the best designed, most beautifully decorated Christmas house, then it's all right. We'll be okay. <laughs> so if anybody else is watching this and you're kind of struggling with the cost of living or you're not prioritizing spending money on Christmas this year, I feel you. I see you. Uh, let's normalize that. Let's normalize sharing that um, and being a bit more honest and real on the internet. After looking at the bits and pieces I've got, I think the two main areas that I want to decorate are the bar cart and then I usually just put some things up here on top of my fridge. So you kind of walk in the front door of my house and the first thing you see is you look up into my living area and you see this. So I think just having something that visually is kind of the first thing you see makes the whole house kind of have that Christmassy vibe. The first thing I'm going to put up here, I just love this. I think it's so cute. 
It is the Happy Paws Co. Advent Calendar. It's not new. This is from like a couple of years ago, I think. So I didn't spend any money on this. I just kept it because I like, it is so adorable. It's got all the Christmassy and then it's got all the little Christmassy dogs. Like, it's so adorable. So these are my Christmas candles. We have Peppermint Snowflake. It's a party light candle. Oh, so I've used it maybe a quarter of the way and I've had it for so long, but I love the scent of that. Mm, yum, candy canes. And then we've got Winter Berries, which I mean, it feels a bit off. It is hot. <laughs> it's a bit summer, but again, smells delicious. Ha this one hasn't been burnt and it's probably because it's like the wintry scent. I don't really go for it in summer. I think winter berries probably goes best up here. I think we're gonna put this little tree up there. Um, I actually bought this. I was selling dog treats at the local market and I did like a Christmas range and I did Christmas baubles that I personalized with stickers and put like dogs names on them. Um, and so I had this that sat at my market stall. Uh, so I'm gonna pop this up here. So much lately, I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite. Okay, so I think the first thing is just to like get rid of some of the stuff that's not the Christmas stuff. This is one of those things when I watch people who do like the full on decor for Christmas, like their whole house, cushions, throws, everything. They must have some good storage because I live in this tiny two bedroom unit and my storage is crap. I did see a really, really cute thing on Pinterest where you have like the cup and you put candy canes in it. So that is one thing I will spend money on. I will grab some candy canes to sit in a cup on this bar cart. Also, I feel like this is like such like full vibes. Maybe I can put some Christmas candy in here and like stuff I'll actually eat so that it's not a waste of my money. Okay. We have this adorable little wooden Christmas tree that I love. I love the colors in this. So cute. This I made years ago, actually for my parents' house, like I, like years ago, probably like when I first got into Pinterest and was like, ooh, DIY. Uh, so it's just like a printout that I made and then I added some color and <laughs> I still have it. So I probably would not be using this. I still don't know if I, um, I don't know if I had the right spot for it, but I definitely wouldn't be using this if I was spending more money because I had visions for something very different. Oh well. <laughs> I adore this piece. This is probably my favorite Christmas decoration that I own. Um, it's also from Party Light, um, but this. It's like a snow globe. It's got the little polar bear and the, the gingerbread hat. I just love it. And you see the candle on top. It's my favorite. This whole setup may change when I, once I get the candy canes and the candy for the little container, but we'll work with this for now. Hopefully I can grab those. I'll grab those this afternoon. I've got to go to shops. Mmm. This peppermint candy. It just smells so good. Peppermint candy. Peppermint candle. Ugh. Not for eating. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go. And this little Santa was just like a gift. Um, I think he had some chocolate in him or whatever. But I've held on to him because he's cute. Just adds to the vibes. Cheek decorations. <laughs> Uh, the only other thing that I haven't put out, or the two things, is my wreath, again, in that real, like, pink pastels tone that I clearly love, uh, that will go on my front door. I love it. It's Mason 2021 on a little ornament. So cute. We were doing some brand ambassador work uh, for Brittany Shard illustrations, which I don't think she's doing these kind of illustrations anymore, but... Um, it's just so adorable. I love it. I might see it on the bar card. Everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Make 
in our Christmas memories, oh And I've been long to hold you close, forget about it I have just got home from shopping, grabbing some groceries and things and the little things that I need to finish this off and I've had a brainwave. So this is just the wrong colors. You'll see when I show you particularly the lollies and stuff I bought, the red and green and black is not it. Being that that is a DIY thing that I just printed off myself, I'm going to uh, either make something in Canva or find something printable online and make that more of like the pastel pinks kind of color scheme I've got going on in here with my tree. Um, so yeah, I think that will look a lot better than this picture at the moment. These were $1.50 and they are strawberry and peach flavoured so that they are pink and orange, which I just thought was so cute. Like these pink ones in particular. Love, love. I thought they would go so well with the little pink tree. I, there were some like Christmas M&Ms that were red and green, but obviously I've tried to go now away from that colour palette and... There wasn't really any other Christmas candy lollies that I saw that really fit like what I was trying to do. So instead, I got these Dara Lee balls, which I love eating. So that's convenient because I'm not just buying these as decorations. I will eat these. Um, and they have the pink that matches the tree and the candy cane. So pink. And then I went blue. And then I did go green. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh oh. La 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 la. Oh oh. La 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 la. Oh oh. La 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 la. Making our Christmas memories. I love this little lolly section. I think it's so cute with a better colored picture behind it. I think this would be perfect. And then what I would love is maybe just two more of this style of tree just to pop there just to fill in that blank kind of space a little bit and then I think that'll be it that'll be my Christmas decorating done okay, I'm back from the shop I literally live like in the middle of town it took me two minutes to walk to the shop five minutes to find what I was looking for and two minutes to walk back so. but I spent ten dollars uh, they did not have any of those little trees the little bottle brush trees left but what I did find was this gorgeous gold reindeer. I just think it's so cute. It was $7, like nothing. And it's just cute. And so anyway, I thought this would go perfect with the gold tray that's already on there. And the fact that my bar cart's gold. So I'm just going to pop this one at the back here. Yeah, I love it. It just gives it a bit more height, evens out the bar cart a little bit. And then this one's not, this one's going to go um, on top of the fridge. But... It was three dollars and I just I really wanted it look it's a little gingerbread girl I just think she's so cute it just it made me smile and three dollars for a little bit of joy I spent the money I'm gonna pop her on the top of the fridge with things that are up there but that's it that's my Christmas decorating done um, so all up on things that I bought so the money I spent this year uh, was three dollars on this seven dollars on the reindeer a dollar fifty for the candy canes and then I think the ball the chocolates came out to about 15 so 15 25 like around 27 dollars that's it that's all i have spent on christmas day four decorations that kind of stuff for the year and you know what i'm happy and that's what counts all right um so yes i am still going to change the background of that picture but i just don't have access to a printer at my house and I need to wait till I go to my parents. So you'll have to keep watching. I'm sure I'll show you in my next video how that looks. Um, so yeah, hit subscribe so that you don't miss that. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights. So you should come back home to me. And when we wake up in the morning. Play those carols that you love We'll be singing